Hello team, my name is Paresh Padhika. In this video, we will see how to use Fetch. This uh, feature was introduced in uh, to SQL Server 2012, so it can be used for paging. Before 2014, uh, sorry 2012 to 2008 R2, we need to use top clause and uh, uh, with the row number. It's like we can use row number if you want to uh, use a uh, number of rows. Uh, uh, this we need to if we need to display the number of rows on a page uh, on a front end then a web page and then uh, different pages like uh, page number one, two, three. If you want, if you, you want to show hundred rows on a page one, next hundred rows on page two, next hundred on page three, then we need to put it manually. Either this needs to be taken care of by uh, application end or from the SQL end. If we need to take care from the SQL end, then we need to use row number and the, uh, the parameter needs to be passed by the application only. So in 2012, Microsoft introduced new feature that fetch. So this clause is um, of a clause we need to use with the offset clause. So here we can uh, SQL will take care of paging. So we can retrieve the data from the table. Okay, for that purpose, uh, we must have identity column. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll demonstrate uh, example. Let's create one table. This table. I have created one table, uh, test underscore table in the database test db. Let's insert some data. I'm going to insert 1000 rows in this table. Then, let's see, select from this table. Okay, so we have some data in this table right now. It has 1000 rows. Okay, let's open a new session. Let me see. Okay. So two main clauses are important. Uh, these two clauses are nothing but offset. Offset. Fetch. Okay. So let's write a query. I'm mentioning uh, for the column name properly. It's not mandatory. You can use a star. Offset will set uh, the from where uh, you need to fetch the data. So if you say the offset n value n number, then uh, data will be fetched uh, from n plus one rows. So, for example, for example, let's see. Uh, I'll say the first zero. 
okay close this is a uh, just remember this the format page next ten rows only if you see there are a lot of errors so invalid usage of option next in phase statement incorrect syntax zero okay so as I said okay offset whenever it's a uh, part of paging then there should be some already used uh, required so hence she could require some key column or uh, not a key column the column uh, on the basis you can order a data so let's order by ID Sending. now executed data now see if you see the query okay order by ID offset 0 rows page next 10 rows so ID uh, it will uh, face the data from 1 to 10 if you say 1 sorry 10 and then 10 I mean next 10 rows then 11 to 20 so offset is very important it's okay so SQL can uh, decide okay from where you need to face the data okay once you order by the ID column then you can face the data from the x plus 1 rows okay we can dynamically create a procedure uh, to or uh, pass a parameter for offset and t. I'll show you in this video only. Okay. Uh, before that, we'll test it. Will it work with the without identity column or not? Let's create a more table. Test table one without identity. Let's insert some data. I'm going to insert uh, let's write some data. Must be clear. Oh, sorry. Okay, we have inserted some data. Let's verify the data. Okay, and this is also I have inserted. Okay, 999 rows, no problem. So let's use this table right now and the same query yeah so no identity required we can um, we just need a man a mandatory uh, I mean when it, uh, need on the order by clause so on the basis you can order order the data and it can return to return the value let's uh, test it is it possible or not if we can order it without integer column okay let's do that so create one more table ok 
character C and let's say uh, three. Here I'll insert uh, some manual data only. I'm not use this code. Let's insert. This next column can be in menu. Okay, so let's check data. Fine, let's use this now in this query. So, invalid column ID, correct? Um, so, ch column name, ch. Okay, let's check it will not set value zero. Okay, two CD perfect. Okay, so there is no any restriction that we need to use on the ID column or something or any uh, only integer value or uh, uh, not even um, identity column. So we can uh, use this phase offset and phase clause with any data type. Uh, it definitely will not work with XML data type, okay. But uh, for any character or integer, we can use it. So, next word. Now, I'll, I'll write one query or procedure. So we can dynamically dynamically take care of by the procedure only uh, I'll use integer table only the test table okay. for this let's write a procedure Okay, that's it. And default, let's say to default value and pro count. How many pro count per page? Rather than offset, let's say use page number. So it will be good for the developer to understand the parameter and pass the value. Let's say default will be the 10. Okay, now let's put in the code. Hmm. Let's I use the same way and just copying and pasting. Column name was ID. Okay. So here we'll pass page number minus one. Okay. So default page will be the one only, not always negative. So page number minus one R two total row count per page. Okay. This formula we can use in the offset value and the row count per page we can directly use the variable. 
okay if you pass page number one one minus one would be zero and then zero into any number of rows will be the offset value will be the zero if so as i explained you the it will read uh say the offset for the rows from where it needs to face the record okay if it's zero then it will face from one to x n number of rows if you set 10 then it will be from 100 okay correct if you have forgotten that then i'll explain you again id id see offset was zero and i asked to face 10 rows then it will face from 1 to 10 or when offset was 10 then from 11 to 20 okay so the same thing the formula will do the same thing if if let's say if you are passing the page number 2 2 minus 1 would be 1 and 1 into 10 rows means 1 into 10 10 so offset will be become 10 okay and uh, then it will start uh, on the page number 2 it will uh, show the record from row number 11 to 20 if it's page number 3 the 3 minus 1 will be the 2 and 2 into 10 will be 20 so offset will become, become 20 and it will show, uh, return the uh, rows from 21 to 30 let's create the procedure and we'll pass the parameter and we'll see the output okay let's take an next session axc let's pass a parameter it's a page number one so developer can just pass for page number 2 and for page number 3 if you see the records okay for page number 1 when we pass a page number 1 and 10 it returned 1 to 10 for page number 2 11 to 20 and for page number 3 from 21 to 30 okay so this feature was introduced in SQL Server 2012 and that's good replacement uh, for the paging uh, to take care from the application it's good and better to use yeah hope you guys understand understood the uh, how to use the offset and phase so don't forget uh, it's mandatory to mention order by clause either for ID ascending or descending Okay, it's not uh, mandatory to use any identity or uh, integer data type only. It works with each and every, uh, any data type and without identity column or key column as well. Just to make sure that you have mentioned auto back loss. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel MS SQL Server Learning for Ishbhadekar for more videos. Thank you.